Hi everyone, it's Wes here and today I want to do a video on what I would do now if I was given an offer to study my masters here in the UK or maybe undergrad but mainly uh, masters because that's what I studied here so the main reason why I'm doing this video is because when I look back I'm like okay if I could have done this if I could have done this maybe things would be much easier so now this is more of like uh what trying to advise some of you that are planning to come and study your masters here in the uk and say you know what if you want to come and study here in the uk these are some of the things that you may want to do or you may want to avoid if you want your um, study here to be smooth or if you want it to be much easier or with less pressure or things like those so i'm here just trying to give out uh, what i would do if i was given an offer today so the first thing that i would do is i would make sure that i'm 100 percent fully covered in terms of finances now by that i mean i'd make sure i get a scholarship which is 100 percent uh fully funded i'd also make sure that i have everything to do with money covered the main reason why i'm saying this is because when i came to do my masters i did not come on a full 100 percent scholarship i came on a partial one which was only on the fees and it was only 50 percent and i had to pay the other one uh, on myself or with the help of my parents or my siblings so uh, I'll simply say it was really more of like I had to go and start working like a part-time job for me to be able to find a fees for me to be able to pay at the same time I'm doing school I'm doing class work so it was really more of like a challenging moment I'd say but yeah I mean I learned a lot of uh, things while doing that but then I wouldn't wish it on on, on many people uh, but if you know that you are tenacious yeah come and do it but i'm simply saying this is not easy because what happens is you find yourself in a new country you don't know anyone you're trying to find your feet you're trying to understand the systems you're trying to understand the culture and then you're trying to work at the same time you're trying to make money you're trying to go to school you're trying to race it's just like a lot on your plate so i find it uh, to be a little bit difficult for uh, many people that are uh, that have studied as self-sponsored students because they're really trying to make ends meet so it really becomes a challenge so i'd really make sure that i have uh, 100 percent full 100 uh, percent scholarship uh accommodation sorted out food sorted out transportation sorted out but then what if i wasn't able to get a full scholarship 100 percent well if i get 50 percent i'll still come but then i'll just make sure that i have enough money uh that would help me survive for the first three months or for the first six months why i'm saying this is because sometimes if you come in the name of like you know what i'll solve it while i'm there it becomes a challenge it, it, it becomes it, it becomes challenging because you may not be able to find a job in the first three weeks in the first three months so for you to i mean you can't be begging money from people back home because i mean yeah uh they're like ah oh, you're in the uk so you're already making more money so that's the perception that people have so even if you tell them like yo i'm a student here they'll be like no but if you get work you'll be able to make more money we've read of stories so we know so you see so that's the first thing that i'll do if i was to turn back the hands of time i'd be like you know what go there while you're financially prepared go there when you're financially stable and then yeah uh, to make your studies much easier so that's the first thing that i'll do the second thing that i'll do is i'll make sure i understand the assessment methods that the universities have here which is different than uh where i'm coming from malawi but then this is much easier i would say because the moment you get in class you're taught this is how you'll be assessed uh whether we'll you just write essays you do presentations or you do abcd so you're taught but the thing is i would make sure that i understand it i understand it uh, from the onset because i think i i mean I, I wouldn't say like it took time for me to understand the assessment methods it was okay but i'm simply saying if i was to do it again i would make sure that i understand it like from the first week like okay this is how i would, I would be assessed so that's the second thing all right so point number three of what i would do uh if i was given an offer today to study my master's here in the uk is I would start applying for jobs instantly. So what do I mean by that? So if the, if schools are starting in September and I come here in September, I would start applying for jobs in September. Because one thing that I noted about the UK is they have advertised jobs for next year, this year. It's like they're always doing things well in advance. So I think if you, tr if, if you delay, you really miss a lot of vacancies. So the thing is, I would make sure that I start applying for, if I want to stay anyway, I'm not saying that everyone wants to stay here in the UK, but if, if I was of the mindset that I want to stay in the UK after I, find, after I finish my school, if one of the things that I'll do is I'll start applying for jobs 
instantly. So this would mean I would either get into uh, CV writing classes at school just to understand how I can be able to draft a better CV. I would understand some of the uh, companies that I want to work for. I would understand. I would, I would go to job fairs. I would do everything to do with understanding the uh, work uh, job search system here, just for me to be able to apply for jobs. Because one thing that I've noted is sometimes when you come here, you're like, you know what? Let me do school. I'll start applying for jobs when I'm about to finish school which is a little bit late, let me be honest, because if you only have like three or four months before you finish school and then you've started applying, you will not get um, a job. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll make sure that I start applying for jobs the moment I get here, like in the first week, yeah? Jango jango. No, <laughs> I wouldn't apply in the first week, but yeah, I'll be quick to apply for jobs. Yeah, uh, so, so number four of what I wouldn't want to miss. Guess what? I wouldn't want to miss the freshers week. So the freshers week happens like, two weeks before school starts or a week before school starts. So uh, my time, I missed it because my visa uh, delayed in a way. Um, either I delayed applying for the visa or I delay, or the visa delayed one of those. I missed the first two weeks of like the freshers week. So I wouldn't really want to miss the freshers week now because it's uh, a place where you're able to get information uh, about the school itself, about the city, about where to get like uh, student deals. And yeah, there are a lot 